Hey, what's up YouTube, Enforcer5150 here, and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check out the uh, G515 from Dell that I got over the weekend, and we're running with the i5-8300H with a 2.3 gigahertz processor with the GTX 1060, uh, the six gigabyte DDR5, 16 gigabytes of RAM. We also have 256 gigabytes of SSD, and the game is actually installed on the SSD just to make sure we get the fastest uh, performance possible on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna benchmark this at highest settings and then we're gonna put it at 1080p. Then we will go ahead and drop it down to the lowest settings at 1080p. And then we will switch it up and do a 720p at the highest and lowest settings as well. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time here and we're just gonna go ahead and get into it and get these benchmarks going. All right, so here we go, starting out at, uh, let's see, 170, 160, 162 frames per second for our lowest, and sticking out a average of 180, 83. So 183, I'm gonna say. And we're gonna get to the smoke, and that's gonna be our only spot that we're really gonna have to worry about actually coming down on the frames per second. Um, but as mentioned in another video, uh, these smokes in here are are stacked, which you're not really going to You know come across that too often. So if you're someone that gets smoked out a lot, then maybe you want to you know worry about the smoke uh, benchmarks here So let's see we're gonna go down to let's see 39 all right, so 39 that's uh, not acceptable. <laughs> so we actually wanna to try to stay over 60 frames per second because this laptop, the maximum you can actually get is 60. But if you're actually connecting it to a you know, monitor or something like that that has 144, it's definitely not gonna be, it's not gonna be able to hit those high, you know, high numbers. It's not gonna be over it uh, during smokes and stuff like that. Even though that these ones are stacked, I'm, I'm gonna say it's definitely still gonna be under uh, 60 even if you have maybe just two smokes thrown at you So that's not too bad um, We're gonna go ahead and do this again and what we're gonna do is just drop it down uh, To everything on low including the anti-aliasing just everything completely at the bare minimum at 1080p All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and get these settings down like I said I want to have pretty much everything all the way down even the shadows we want everything as low as possible. Um, mainly what I want to do is I want to try to get over 60 frames per second. Remember, this is just a 1060, which is still a great card, and, but it's also in the mobile form. So the CPU and the graphics card are, are pretty high level, even for you know some desktops that are out there. But uh, it's going to, uh, like a regular 1060, I would say would perform close to, if not a little bit better. Um, I might actually grab a 1060 just to find out um, what kind of performance I can actually get from the desktop version versus this version. So let's go ahead and uh, get this benchmark going. We have everything set to low. All right, so now we are at 1080p and everything is set to absolute lowest that you can go. All the AA is set all the way down. We have shadows all the way down, pretty much everything. And we're sitting pretty good at 240 frames per second on average. And it looks pretty good on the laptop itself. I mean, the screen looks pretty good because it's only 15.6 inches. So it's not like, you know, my main desktop monitor where, you know, I'm, I'm looking at you know, 27 inches where I'm gonna notice all the small details and everything. So everything here is looking, you know, pretty decent. All right, so we're just kind of wondering how we're gonna go through this smoke here. Okay, yeah, we're definitely underneath it. So before we had 39. So at 45, we're still in an unacceptable range. But then again, like it was mentioned in the other other videos in the comments, uh, that those smokes are stacked. So we're not really too worried about that. I would say this is actually a very playable uh, frame rate. Obviously, you're not going to want to use a laptop for you know main competitiveness, but like practice in in you know straight play whenever you're you're playing, it's definitely definitely good for that. And you're going to have some decent high frames per second. Um, but you know, you only can get that 60 frames per second, so you're gonna want to run v-sync. 
So I can tell you right now that I can definitely tell that it's going over that amount and I'm seeing, you know, the little bit of tearing in the monitor because the monitor on the laptop does not have G-Sync. So you're gonna wanna have the V-Sync on, unfortunately. All right, for our next test here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have everything set at high again, and I'm putting everything at 720p and see how much frames we can actually get at the 720p instead of having everything, you know, just at the full 1080p that the laptop can do, because that is the max that the laptop is able to pull off. Right now, I'm kind of getting some of the same frames. I'm actually going up a little bit more. We're getting, you know, like over 400 just in this little lobby area. So that's pretty good. And I see uh, we hit 500. All right, so here we go at 302 starting. All right, we jump down to 225, which is actually a little bit lower than I think one of our 1080p tests. But it's really gonna matter when we start coming around that corner and we get to the smoke and everything like that. Uh, once we get there, I think, We'll be all right being at 720p because the smoke is going to be less condensed on a 720p resolution than it would on the 1080p because the 1080p i mean it's definitely a lot more condensed for your graphics card to try to handle but i am impressed that the cpu has been staying pretty low uh it hasn't really maxed out let's see here and we are at 83 frames per second so that's perfect um, and everything is on high right now. So, I mean, it looks great. I mean, I'm not really noticing a difference between the 1080p and the 720 on this size of a monitor. Um, something like my, you know, 27 inch, I would definitely notice, you know, the difference in the resolution. And yeah, we're still at 83. So we're over, we're, we are well over the 60 frames per second. Pretty much you can run this laptop at 720p. It'll look great and you'll have your maximum frames per second all the way through. You definitely have to have that V-Sync on or else you're gonna get that tearing that's just really annoying. Um, I mean, you can play with without it on, but I really don't recommend it. All right, so even though we, we did achieve the 83 frames per second that we were trying to get before or trying to get over to 60, we have the 83 for our very lowest and we had a good, you know, 200s average. I'm still gonna have this tested at the lowest settings as well. Uh, just for one, you know, kind of see what it looks like on the monitor and then also, you know, to see what our lowest frames per second is going to be once we uh, start going through the smoke and stuff like that. All right, so here we go. Oh, I need to restart the benchmark. All right, so we're gonna start at 312. Remember, everything is at the very lowest. I have AA off, just like I did with the 1080p. And right now, I mean, I can tell with like, you know, the the fences and stuff like that, I can definitely see a little bit of it, but it's not really that noticeable on the laptop. Um, being at, you know, that 15 inches is so, so condensed already that the 720p looks really crisp and everything looks, you know, pretty good. Uh, on, the, on the larger monitors though, it's definitely not going to look this, this good. It's not exactly uh, something that you want to do something competitive on, like I said before. You know, this, it's going to be more something that you'll be able to travel and get your practice in. And let's see here, we get down to 100 frames per second, which is pretty good. Um, I know there are laptops out there that will do 144 hertz, but definitely not in my budget range, <laughs> for sure. I mean, this one was already um you know stretching that budget and i really needed it for school and stuff Ooh, damn we got 92 so that is still good we're well over the 60 frames per second that we needed to be at um but like i said i just i got this laptop mainly for school rendering and stuff like that um and it, it's worked really well so far like i've already i recorded our the open box and i rendered it and i edited it all on the laptop and the render time for 4K video at 150 megabits per second was only 25 minutes. I mean, that's really close to how much my AMD 2700X does. And I'm pretty impressed with the, the CPU. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I do wanna do some more practical benchmarks, you know, just do some gameplay and stuff like that on the laptop. Um, I was meaning to do that with my main computer as well, but you know, school got in the way and I had to kind of choose my battle, so to say. 
So that's it for the video. Make sure you hit that like button if you this was informative to you. And definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos from me. I'm going to try to make sure I keep getting these benchmark videos out to you guys. Sorry, I haven't been putting up too many lately. And I do have some money saved up to get the new graphics card when it does come out. I know it's only being announced on the 20th, but once I get it, I'm going to make sure I do CSGO first. And then we're going to go down to some of the other games and get all these benchmarks done on that as well. So thanks for watching and happy gaming.